Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And today we're making a, a, something that we've loved, especially in the summertime. And it is in the Engine 2 cookbook. I like this, Jane, any time of the year. It is delicious. It's called Chick and Salad. Ha <laughs> ha. But say it fast. Say it fast. Chicken salad. Chicken salad. <laughs> Chicken salad. And it's on page 145 of the Engine 2 cookbook. This is like the most warped. Hey, wait, can we do a top shot of that? Look at that. It's just warped and worn and, and, and swollen. And, and delicious. And every, the pages stick together. And this page, it opened right to it. Look, there's even like a, oh, what is, what is that? What do you think that is? Um, it's not a moth. It's looks something like, delicious in there. <laughs> a moth. All okay. right. Chick and salad. And it's, um, it tastes like chicken salad, but it is just chickpeas and some salady stuff. So um, what we have prepped here is the majority of what we're going to use, and that is you start with a cup of finely chopped um, cabbage. You can use green cabbage, purple cabbage. I always use purple cabbage, Jane, always. Okay, well, I chose a Savoy cabbage just to sort of offer it as an option. It's a little bit more of a textured, wavy um, uh, Those are nice big leaves to put things in too. I'm thinking of anatomic, anatomical words. <laughs> but I wanted to show how crispy it crunches and you're going to finely chop it and then then give it a little crust because you want to be able to not have big like mustaches of this coming out when you're eating it but just have it finely chopped um, up and you know when you, when you go somewhere and they have like these beautiful huge vegetables and you're like how am I supposed to eat this? I kind of like it um, finely chopped. the problem chopped. with lots of our food is how do you eat this without being a mess? Um, okay, so this, um, as we say one cup, this is definitely more than a cup, but I'm, I'm fine having more Savoy than was asked by the recipe. And then we have, we put that onion, can you isolate the onion? Put the onion in. Um, then we have two stalks of celery. I think I had three stalks here because they weren't long ones. And I wanted to chop them with you. Um, How about a little chop kale in there. That's what I do. Awesome. Um, chop kale would be great. That's a great green I put the, uh, so Shall I put some carrots in? Um, wait. What? Yeah, the carrots can go in, the raisins can go in. I mean, everything goes in. I'm just, just trying to... Oh! I got my... I, I, I dropped my wrist. I tell you, What's so hump. good in this salad is the, is the carrots, I mean the celery. I love that crunchy celery. Yeah. And this, these are chopped apricots. Uh, apricots. They, you know, actually you could put in twice that much, it would make it good. Well, you're welcome to put more in. Um, no, but I mean, I love <clears> those little... So this, I, what I love about this part, because this really is... Uh, look at our, look at our spoon says, Wade, can you get up close on that? Let us eat. May I, may I put in the, the... Oh, please. I thought you those were in. Yeah. So this is kind Raisin. of the salady part. Um, it's just, you know, it's the greens, celery, carrots, onion, raisins, a little bit of apricot. And now comes the chick part, if you will. Chick peas, one can drain and rinsed and... Just get, if you possibly can, get the no salt added... Um, beans whenever you try and buy beans because beans have got so much sodium in them and you just don't need it. And if you do get the regular, the kind of sodium, rinse them well, then you still only get about 40% out. And then you add a cup of hummus. It can be homemade hummus. You can get the hummus that you prefer. We like to get hummus that doesn't have oil preferably. Sometimes we can get it with tahini and no oil. Sometimes we can, you know, it, it's, it's a little makes bit of a... One. It's a little with bit no oil and no tahini, and actually, so does Amir in Cleveland. And then we add a pinch of cayenne pepper and a squirt of sriracha. And we add, okay, that, that's, that's like a pinch, because this adds heat, 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 heat. Um, it actually, or I think it not only, maybe so maybe little, doesn't add much, as much heat as it does uh, depth. Yeah, I, I don't, we don't know how to explain it. We, don't, we are not hot uh, food lovers. But when we take, when your your tongue is so ADD, your tongue wants sweet, salt, bitter, umami, fat. It wants all that. I mean, acid. 
flavors, all this, these things at once. So <clears throat> if you can distract it with other things, it gets it sort of occupied, occupied or satisfied or whatever the right word is for your tongue. So adding a little bit of heat. Um, I was doing a squirt. How many squirts? You said squirts. How many squirts did you? One squirt. That was like a one good squirt. That was a big good squirt. Yeah, thank we'll you. We'll have to give Dwayne the part that has the most squirt. Yeah. Um, okay, so I think that's a really good amount of hummus. Like that one, this is a one cup. And it's just, I mean, I don't really, I never really had chicken salad as a kid. I saw a lot of it, but um, I don't know if I, we ever, we never had it. Never. So what we're going to do today, pardon my reach, um, is we're going to have it, we, you can serve this like any sort of chicken salad or tuna salad. You can serve it in a bowl. My mom declared she wants I to have put, it in a bowl. I would yep. put greens underneath mine. Yeah, and we're going to get it. And Wade, you're going to have it in a pita, eh? That sounds lovely. Sounds lovely. Now, okay. I, I do this when we're having guests particularly, and I, I put a, lots of arugula in the bottom of a little salad bowl. And then I put this on top. And, um, oh... It's so good. And so we tend to, um, to try to, to, let's fill him up here. Uh, we tend to go with arugula quite often because it's just one of the best greens. Like beet greens are great. Arugula is great. Beets, um, just with all the nitric oxide they make. The problem with beet greens is that you never get enough. The, Wait, do you want to have a little beets. sriracha on top of this? Hit me with it. Just to, like a, a Morse code, like one, two, three? Sure. Or do you like a big zig, zig, zig? Give me a zig, zig, zig. Oh, you are just, you are hot. I can't even like, I'm scared to. That's perfect. That's wow. perfect zig, zig, zig. It, it, I had to hold my breath. <laughs> okay, our, our bowl. All right, all right. Whoop. Awesome. So Wade, here you go. Give it a taste. Let us know how you like that. I can't believe you're having that much sriracha. And you had a fork somewhere. Where'd that go? We had, we had two forks a minute ago. Mm-hmm. Chicken salad. This is like perfect for a summer day. Isn't it? Day. Perfect for a summer day. Well said. Mmm. No. Perfect for any day. <laughs> any <laughs> time of year. Mmm. Mm. All right. Any occasion. Well, since it's a summer day and any day, we're going to go off and finish our... I think I want to have this bowl myself. You Can you make your own bowl? All right. Hey, let us know how you Train. enjoy your chicken salad in a pita, uh -huh. on a bread. You know what? That's okay. I'm using this bowl. <laughs> Ooh, my bowl. <laughs> uh, you can have. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>